Hey guys, uh, this tutorial is about uh, learning about list, construction of list, operation of list, and uh, different arithmetic of list. Where list is one of the important um, item I would like to say in mathematical programming. It has many uses. Uh, you can use the list to construct a matrix, you can use the list uh, to apply different tables and even the list is applicable to plotting and other similar uh, tasks. So before coming to construction of the list, I would like to emphasize on something else and that is whenever you want to develop a file in Mathematica, it is always instructive to comments about the file. Because if you reopen the file somewhere else, um, the comments will let you know what have you done in the file even uh, after years if you open the file that will remind the whole story about your file. So the first thing in doing things in Mathematica is to uh, give a title in the form of comments to your Mathematica file. And the comment goes like this, you start with a bracket followed by a steric. And for this file, I would like to mention it that this is a file for real about list. So this construct list, you can change the uh, size by clicking alt and plus sign and similarly you can reduce the size by clicking alt button followed by the dash button and from the format you can change the color of the text so you can choose a color of your choice but i would always prefer to choose the red so it's red because it tell me what the file is about so the next thing is a list so for list you always use curly brackets by definition whenever you enclose anything into the curly brackets mathematica pack that Picks there is a list. If I add, let's say, a number or an alphabet like A, then this is called member of the list. So I can add another one like, let me add numeric 2, W, and E. So I have a list of four members or four elements. It is always good to assign a name to a list and so I'll call it LIS1 mean this is the first list, the equal sign assign the name to your list and if I put the semicolon at the end that will stop if I run the Mathematica file that would stop the result and will only add the answer to the memory in the list this one. So we will add this over here. Okay, now this is the list we have generated in Mathematica and we have added it into the memory of Mathematica. Whenever I recall list one, the Mathematica will give me the full list. For example, if I uh, run this, so I get what I have uh, encoded into the memory of LS1. Similarly, you can extract elements of the list uh, and the element of the list can be ob obtained, let me write it again, by enclosing a number inside the double braces. So this tells me, this number tells me, you, you command, you ask Mathematica to extract the element at position 1, which is A. If I run this, it will give me A. Similarly, if I want to obtain the element at position 3, which is W in this case, then I'll get W. Okay, this way you can extract the element from the uh, file of the list. So, now let's, let's do some operation about it, but before that I want to 
construct another list so that uh, that will give us a little broadened view about oh, I select list one put it over here and paste it I change the name of list one to list two and similarly I want to change the, the elements to B three X and F. So this is now another list with four elements. I run this and encode the information into LS2. So Mathematica performs the arithmetic operators uh, on the list and it uh, goes element by element. For example, if I want to add list 1 to list 2, this will add the corresponding elements of the two lists. So A goes for list 1, B goes for list 2 and they are added. Uh, we are at this position, we have 2 numerics, 2 plus 3 which adds to 5 and similarly at third position in one list we have W and in the other list we have X and the same is true for the fourth uh, element. Okay. Similarly, you can do the operation of subtraction and multiplication if I copy this and want to multiply the two lists. So for multiplication of numbers in lists, the operator goes as steric. Now look, if I run this out, each element of list 1 is multiplied with the, ele the corresponding element in list 2. So A is the element in list 1 and B is the element in list 2. And at the second position, again 2 times 3 is 6, W into X, E into F. So every element is of one list is multiplied with the corresponding elements in list 2. Now let's see if I change the length and okay let me tell you what is length and uh, element length tells us the number of elements inside a list so in both of our list there are four number uh, so we can say the length of each element is four if i change the length of list two and i add another element g and i run this out and then i run the multiplication of the two list it will not give me any answer rather it will give me a warning and the warning is objects of unequal length so that's obviously in one list we have four elements and in the other list we have five elements so they are of different lengths therefore they have different and the mathematica cannot multiply them in a similar way we can uh, divide the elements of one list with the elements of another list and that I can do just by using the operator for division in Mathematica the operator for division is just this backslash. Now each element in one list has been divided by the corresponding elements in the other list so this way we can do uh, the operation, the different arithmetic, we can apply different arithmetic operators to different lists. Okay, that's all about how a few things uh, about list. We can use list to construct a matrix. And a matrix is usually a list of list. So let me make a matrix from the first list. Um, I can make a list from the first matrix by adding partition list 1 I add the number 2 now what this 2 tells me the partition command um, ask Mathematica to regroup the elements of list 1 such that in each sub list there should be two elements and if I run this out, now I have two different lists in each case. 
so oh, sorry in each sub list contains two elements another word this is a list of lists so a list of lists always construct a matrix and this is by the way a two cross two matrix if i ask mathematica to represent this in the form of a matrix it will give me a two cross two matrix so uh, let me first give this a name m81 and uh, i should i remove this thing and i want to write this in the form of matrix and i want to represent this word here in the form of a matrix so i recall matrix from now look the first this, the first sub layers inside this layer is in fact the row of a matrix and the second sub row is the second row so uh, inside the list of a list the uh, sub list always represents a row i can convert the same matrix into a column matrix by if i copy that from here and put it over here and instead of adding number 2 i want to add number 1 and let me give the name matrix 2 if i run it out now every single element is enclosed into another list so every list has a length of 1 whereas in this case the length of every sub elements was 2 now this is in fact a vector this is just a column matrix if i recall this and convert this into the matrix form you will see it is a column matrix so in order to construct this is a column matrix of four rows or in other word they say that this matrix represents a vector in four dimensional space this will be of uh, very use later on when i'll be introducing Uh, I'll be using Mathematica in solving problems regarding quantum mechanics, so you must point this out. And, and particularly, I'll be using this to solve the problems of quantum information theory and uh, quantum optics. Uh, similarly, uh, you can construct a list. from another very beautiful command which is table and if you remember i have already used table in plotting different uh and uh, and plotting uh, different functions so i can let me uh, list list 3 i can construct a list from the command table so i call this an i v or i is a number which start from One and goes to four. If I run this out, I will again have a list with four members, and uh, I can further change this into another form. I can introduce the subscript to anything by pressing Control and then the. dash button on your keyboard and let me call this i now if i run this i will have a list with a and different subscript running from 1 to 4 similarly you can construct a matrix by the while adding two subscript to an element let me call it j and j runs from 1 to 4 like i if i run this out now i would have a list of lists so uh, this is um, a matrix of order 4 i have in each sub list i have the length of each sub list is 4 and similarly i have four um rows are for sub list in the uh, principal list and if i want to write this down in matrix form i will recall it list 3 by adding the command of matrix form 
And if I do this, I have a four cross four matrix. So this way you can construct less type of list. So the table command and is important command that you use in constructing different types of data. Hey guys, that's enough for now. And in my next video, I would uh, introduce you to other operation or a little advanced operators on matrix algebra that we will later on use in solving different problems regarding to related to quantum information theory and quantum optics. So stay tuned with us and do subscribe to my channel.